All right, so we just got the details for the upcoming Int LR Shadow Dragons or Shadow Dragon Army. That's gonna be the next Battlefield LR on JP. And before anybody asks, I'm pretty sure that Global's not gonna be getting them for this celebration. I think it's gonna be JP first, and then obviously a few months in the future, uh, down the line, Global will get it as well. But uh, in today's video, we are gonna check out, you know, their, their details, their kit, and talk about what they do. But before we do that, we gotta watch their animations, because I'm sure that's the main reason most of you guys clicked on this video. So let's uh, pop over there. Here are the animations. Let me pause that real quick and pause my own music. And here we go. Enjoy. Okay, um, wow, those are some quality animations, man. It always surprises me. Yeah. Like, if it's a summonable unit, I'm always like, you know, my expectations are higher, so I guess it's not as big of a shock when the animations are nice, but whenever we see these, like, free-to-play animations, I'm just like, yo, they're going all out for these units they're not really making money on, right, which is... You know, impressive. Like, as much as I like to complain or, you know, get on Bandai and Akatsuki for certain things they do, certain decisions, um, you can't really say they haven't been putting in the effort for these free-to-play LR animations because this looks awesome. This looks awesome. Like, if you told me this was a summonable LR Shadow Dragons, I'd be like, yeah, sounds about right. I love the animation with the, the Dragon Ball 2. Oh man, the active skill is so good. All right, I, I love it. I love it. Yo, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these. But um, that's an A plus in my books, man. As far as free to play animations go, as far as like animations in general go, it's, it's quality, very much quality. Okay, so from there, after we see these animations, let's pop over to the details. Let me actually start my own music again so it's not too quiet as we talk about what they do. And uh, of course, you guys know, we're gonna go over to the Twitter page of the homie Goresh, who is always very timely with these translations. Big shout out to him. And here we have it. Let me actually make myself disappear so I don't cover anything up. Okay, so we have LR Shadow Dragon Army, destroyers born from the Dragon Balls, leader skill GT bosses, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%. So, um, this is the first leader for this new category, and while they're not a Dokkan Fest leader, 130% across the board is still solid, right? So good leader for this GT bosses category. Uh, super attack, 12 key, Shadow Dragon Assault causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, and then 18 key, great advance of the Shadow Dragons, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense with a medium chance to stun, and passive is minus energy resonance, attack and defense plus 70%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 70% when performing a super attack, and then key plus four if the targeted enemy is in attack down or defense down status, and GT bosses, category allies, key plus three, attack and defense plus 30%, active skill, awakening of the shadow dragons, uh, you have to basically be on turn seven, or beyond, so once seven turns or more have elapsed from the start of battle, and the uh, ability or the effect is key plus seven, and all enemies attack and events minus 30% for one turn. 
Links are Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, GT, Shadow Bosses, or sorry, Shadow Dragons, Big Bad Bosses, Legendary Power, um, and then categories are GT Bosses, Shadow Dragon Saga, and Joined Forces. Okay, so all in all, I think this is a very good free-to-play LR. Um, it's kind of in line with the other, you know, Battlefield LRs we've seen so far, as in, you know, very good, but not perfect obviously and I don't expect them to be um, that one you know like my one major gripe with them is obviously the active skill condition which requires you to be on turn seven or later and that really really sucks I mean for for you know a lot of events in this game you're not gonna reach turn seven obviously for longer events like LGE infinite Dragon Ball history and any other events like that in the future um, you will be able to see them at some point but yeah, for Dokkan events and, you know, most events in the game, like I said, it's not going to be something you get to use, which I guess is not a huge deal, right? It's just turn 7 is very far. It's very long. Um, and the ability key plus 7 is good. All enemies attack and defense minus 30% for one turn is good as well. But it's like, the effect is not so good, where it's like, you have to make us be on turn 7 to use it, you know? Like, I think with an ability like this, if it was like turn 5, even turn 4 to activate it, that still would have been perfectly balanced, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't love the active skill, but in terms of the passive, I think it's a really good passive, you know, good buff for attack and defense. And um, once again, you know, they seem to be one of those turn, or not turn 2, um, slot 2 units, right? Because you don't really want to be putting them in slot 1 because their defense is not going to be that high, so... You primarily want them to be in slot 2 so that they can, you know, get attacked after they super first. But, um, yeah, great support for GT bosses. Key plus 3, attack and defense was 30%. And then extra key to get that uh, 18 key super off easier if you have the enemy in attack down and defense down status. It's nice too, with a nice little uh, bonus there. And, yeah, not too much to say, man. I think they're going to do some good damage. Uh, maybe not crazy damage, but definitely good, solid damage, and also have some good defense too. And then obviously that medium chance to stun could be clutch in, uh, you know, Super Battle Road, Infinite, Super, Infinite, Extreme Super Battle Road, or any other event where the boss can be stunned. Obviously, there's a lot of longer events that can't, like where where they won't let you stun, so that's not gonna be that useful. But um, I like it, man. I like what they're doing. I, I like the animations a lot, especially. That, that active skill. Um, the 18 key super actually is really dope too. I just really like the animations overall. Like, as I said, man, if, if they had said this is a summonable Shadow Dragons, I'd be like, that's good enough. Yeah, those animations are good enough to be a summonable unit. So props to Bandai and Akatsuki for that. And um, yeah, look forward to them on JP. I, as I said, I don't think they're coming to global right now. I can't say for 100% because I don't know, they, they could surprise us, I guess. They could throw us a curveball, but given how things have been going uh, recently, I'm not really hopeful. I'm not super positive on the global end. I'm not gonna turn this into a complaint video by any means. I'm just saying, you know, like, global's been kind of rough this year. That's, that's all I'll say on the subject. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. Shout out to Goresh. Thank you so much for the translations once again. And, uh... As always, I am looking forward to your opinions on this unit. Let me know if you guys think they're good. Let me know if you guys think they're bad. Or, you know, just, just okay. Just mediocre. Whatever your opinion is, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. And uh, that's all I got to say, man. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching, of course. And until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.